Just a moment.
Okay, it's the banjo game. Once for Nintendo 64, now for not that. I'm gonna increase the music volume. It's a little quiet compared to the sound effects, I think. Alright, so you know the drill. Down, down. Well, there's a little bit of a delay here, I think. Okay. Up, up, down, down. Yeah, that's good. So. <clears throat> oh. So, checking. Checking, balance, and all that good stuff. Um, let me see. Let me make sure my microphone's... Yeah, I think that's... Let me see. Checking, checking, sibilance, burrito. Okay, it's probably good. Alright, let me close it off, switch to the real, for real deal. The for <laughs> Please reconnect controller. <laughs> it is entirely possible that I have died. It is plausible that I have died. Gotta scoot back a little bit. And I gotta reconnect controller as the game has advised me to do. Okay. Now you got... You got your choice of three different files. You have Banjo, but he's asleep. Banjo, but he's hungry. And then Banjo, but he's playing a video game. I'll let, I'll let you guys choose. Which, ba which Banjo are we today? Tag yourselves. Okay, Game Boy it is. Game Boy it will be. I like there's some, that there's some little discrepancies in the cutscene because the Xbox version runs too well. 
Like, <laughs> like there used to be some lag. So if you're wondering why G Grunty just turned around and then stood there for a second, I think that was because they originally compensated for the lag of the N64. Yeah, there's an Xbox version. Uh, it's also included as part of Rare Replay on the Xbox One. Okay, so that's our plot, basically. The evil witch, Gruntilda, is tired of being ugly and is going to siphon the beauty out of our little sister. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. No, I, I uh, you bet we're good enough, bottle brain. Mm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Spiral Mountain, huh? Can't imagine why they call it that. But if you want, you can go back in uh, Banjo's house. There's not much of a reason to do that. Well, I say. Banjo apparently has a goldfish. So yeah, you'll recognize this as being the file select room. So I can recreate play in the Game Boy. But yeah, there's uh there's some stuff to see in here though, like this. This is a level we're gonna be visiting later. But also there's an Easter egg if you look up at the painting, I think. Hmm. I think. Oh. Yeah, so there's a bit of an Easter egg there, but as Bottles has just told us, we can't get it yet. So, 
Uh, bottles would just kind of teach you about all the moves you could do. You can jump. You got a, a sort of like half double jump glide thing. A roll. An airborne like kind of peck, like a, a high jump. And maybe some other stuff I'm forgetting. And you'll get more as the game goes on. Mm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. Yeah, so if any of you are unaware, which I don't think most of you are, but some might be. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Duh. Uh, this is a collect-a-thon kind of platformer, like Mario 64 was. It was on the Nintendo 64, except, you know, then of course Microsoft bought out Rare. And, you know, they were like, okay, let's make an Xbox version of the first two Banjo games. Uh, I've only played both of these games once before, and that was on the Nintendo 64. And I figured if I played them again, I would want to do it on the, uh, the Xbox 360, or the Xbox One, but those are still kind of expensive. But, yeah, so, some differences between the two versions. Uh, this one's in widescreen. I mean, I'm sure you've noticed that already. Um, it runs at a much higher and much more stable frame rate. Uh, and I think also just a higher resolution, so it looks, it looks very good. And, you know, honestly, this... Like, even as a Nintendo fanboy, I will say, it seems like they did a very good job with this, this port of the game. And it might be the definitive way to play it, but I'll let you know how I feel about that as we get further. So, as they said, we have, uh, we can get some of those empty honeycombs for more health. How do you just... What do you do about this? What move am I supposed to be using for this bottles? <laughs> wow, passive aggressive. I mean, I don't think. Do I have to move for this? Okay, I, I lost my train of thought with that. Hmm. I may have goofed. I don't remember what you're supposed to do with these. I mean, you should be able to do... It's, I mean, maybe this isn't it. Dang, I'm just missing the one. Dang it. Or is it, is it this? Oh yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, there we go. That's the move. Also, one other thing this, this uh, port does that I think is really neat is that I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if all of you have heard of the infamous stop and swap, but I think most of you have. But uh, the Xbox version does reinstate that because there's now no technical hurdle. But if you don't, oh, I looked down at the chat and I walked off a spiral mount. But if you don't know, basically Rare was going to have a feature where you would like do something in Banjo-Tooie 
you would turn off the Nintendo 64, swap the cartridge out for Banjo-Kazooie, this one, do something here, and then get an item that you would take back to Tui. So basically, the two games connected with each other in a way. However, this relies on a quirk of the Nintendo 64, namely that the contents of its memory were saved for about 12 seconds. But then when Nintendo revised the Nintendo 64 hardware, it was shortened. It was shortened to, to like two seconds. So expecting someone to change the cartridge in that amount of time was considered unfeasible. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. My, my Gruntilda voice is just, just going all over the place. Banjo, help. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. So those are basically the stars or shine sprites of this game. You open levels with them, they're the main thing you're gonna try and get. So if you try to go this way, Banjo is just not, he's just not having it. So we're going this way. Uh, I, it'll take me some time to get used to the camera because I'm pretty sure the axis, the axes are inverted. And I don't usually play with that, I think. But there's no way to turn it off. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw. You know, reading these out loud is kind of awkward because I, I read them faster than <laughs> faster than they actually get typed out. I mean, figuratively speaking, of course. But yeah, so... Oh. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. But, uh... So basically, if I eventually stream Banjo-Tooie, and it... The stop and stop... Stop, up, stop and swap still works how I think it does. Then it'll involve going back to this game, which is gonna be a little weird. So this is Mumbo's Mountain. It's basically the bomb battlefield, but with goblins, goblin man, goblin battlefield. So there's a lot to take in here. Maybe not actually that much. Oh, okay. Me Mumbo token, used for Mumbo magic. Yippee, you saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. So, Jinjos are basically red coins, I guess you'd say. And yes, I am going to compare... Oh, I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. So those are the coins, basically, and yes, I'm going to uh, compare every single thing in this game. Mario 64, what of it? There's a bull. 
playing as a bear with a backpack. So yeah, uh, one another change over the original version is that notes in the Nintendo 64 version did not stay collected. Like if you leave a world or die, then your note counter is reset to zero. And it just saves whatever the highest amount of notes you had were. were. Hopefully the game's not too loud at this point. Yeah, this camera is going to take some getting used to. You also got, you, you do have analog camera in this though, which naturally wasn't in the Nintendo 64 version. <laughs> Monkeys and oranges, that doesn't sound quite right. And they're saying, you know, there's 10 jiggies per world. Oh, got an achievo. But he's still going to throw orange at me. Okay, so I forgot how you're supposed to do that. Oh, oh, I remember now. I remember. Oh yes, I am an orange. Eat me, I'm delicious. Well, I'm glad the sapient food is telling me how delicious it is. If there's anything that television commercials would have you believe, it is that sapient food is delicious food. Okay, yeah. Uh... Tell me if I made a mistake, but the game looked a little too loud to me. So I, I cut it down a bit. So you'll find... Uh, we're the eggs. We are the eggs. Do a real life backflip. Maybe later. So we'll learn moves by talking to bottles in the levels. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press B instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. So, yeah, so you can fire eggs now. Okay, and there's a Gruntilda switch. Do we dare, do we dare press a Gruntilda switch? 
Oh, we can't yet because I don't actually have the pound move. Oh, that was A. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a way to uh, get like a aiming sight here. Hmm. It's been a while since I played this. I have to remember what all you do. But, you know, we can come back. We can come back here. We can, we can climb up the mountain. Mumbo's mountain. So, I mean, is the volume balance good? I'm a little worried. Alright, go this way. To find Stonehenge. And then there's just a Jiggy sitting around right here in the open. Let me turn the game down a tiny bit on my end. Not, not like for the stream, just for me. It's just a kind of distracting me. So yeah, now we can do this. Which is faster than my normal movement, so expect me to be doing this 90% of the time. You know, if the camera will ever cooperate with me. Dangled inverted axis. It's un American. So, there is there's a lot of collectible. I'm sure you have noticed. There's also a lot of termite ant. So Turn. Oh yeah, and there's a, I can also press left, left bumper is what they call it on Xbox. Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Murdered. Yeah, but this the slope's too steep for even that. What they don't tell you in the tutorial, as far as I noticed is that you can technically press the triggers in any order. You just have to, like, press both of them sequentially. Okay, and now there's our last move to learn. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air. Then press the right or left trigger. Yeah, there's the stomp move we wanted. <coughs> Gulp. I don't like the sound of that. Banjo. Get used to it, Ness girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo. There's nothing more I can teach you in this world. On this world. So I forget why we want to do this, but we definitely want to do this. So, you might be thinking, what, Dustin, why are you streaming this now? And the answer is, you know exactly why I'm streaming this now. Don't play dumb. Of course, for anyone who's watching in the year 2039, uh, Banjo was just announced for Smash recently. I mean, not that recently, but recently enough. 
And I figure, you know, we'll just, we'll use, we'll give it the old Spongebob treatment. And uh, just play it to be topical. Yeah, so this level's pretty simple. They do get a little bit more complex. But uh, not as complex as they get in Banjo-Tooie. Well, well, with one exception, I think. Um, but... We Juju Mumbo Stotum Bowl. Feed us with nice blue stones. I hope that's not offensive. <laughs> I mean, if it's offensive, please uh, blame, blame Rare, not me. <laughs> but yeah, Banjo Tooie kind of a uh, a bit more contested. It's kind of like it's kind of like the Sonic Adventure Two to this game's well, Sonic Adventure One. Yup, I now just also compared it. In addition to Mario 64, I have now compared it to Sonic Adventure. I am giving this game no respect of its own. But yeah, the worlds get pretty big and convoluted in Tui. Personally, I thought Tui was pretty fun, but I know there are people who think that Tui's kind of obnoxious. I mean, it's not quite as convoluted as Donkey Kong 64. Like, you know, obviously Donkey Kong 64 has a reputation. <laughs> to put it to put it lightly. But it's, it's not quite that bad. It's somewhere in between this and Donkey Kong 64. But a lot of people still think it's too much. So yeah, now that we have this move, we can just kind of walk up this hill right here and take a big old shortcut. But you know what, let's go over and press the run till the switch before I forget. I mean, there is gonna be stuff that you just gotta, like, come back later to do. Oh, rude. Oh, double rude. But yeah, there's... Oh, well, I remember. I remember now. I remember now. But yeah, there... I th most of the time, you can get every Jiggy in a level without having to, like, come back once you've learned a new move. With, I think, two exceptions, and one that's almost an exception, but not really. I don't know, or almost a case, but not exactly. Basically, there's one mission later in the game that's not exact. It doesn't really require you to have a certain move. But it, the mission becomes a lot more doable if you do have the move. There's one mission that almost seems like that, but I pre I'm pretty sure you basically have to be a speedrunner in order to uh, in order to beat it without the the upgrade. Yeah, sorry if I'm stuttering a bit, but see, what you don't realize is that the Scatman stutters, but doesn't ever stutter when he sings. I need to become better at speaking with my voice. You know, as opposed to speaking with somebody else's voice. I'm excellent at that. Okay, not really. That's, that's basically doing an impression, isn't it? And uh, you, you guys know that I, I'm no better at that. Okay, so yeah. Get five Jinjos, get, get Jiggy, exchange a J for a J. Yeah, so these notes will stay collected, even if I die or leave the level. So that is good, because there were some levels later in the game that were kind of high pressure because of that. I remember playing one of them, and I died with like 99 notes, I think. That was not fun. I did not enjoy that. Would not recommend. Do not, do not die with, with 99 notes. 
Anyway, we got, I think, one Jiggy left, and we're gonna have to see Mumbo about it. So let's go meet Mumbo. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, Hut Boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press X to see mighty Mumbo magic. But first we want to kind of look around like your hut because you have some of these notes we need. And there's also some eggs up on your like shelves here or just kind of your hut support. What would you call this? I don't know. Okay, so basically we spend some tokens and he turns us into a thing. Mumbo's magic three to change back. You come win ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Yeah, so... Yeah, so now we're a termite. And we can do termite things. Except actually, no, we don't, we don't really eat any wood, I don't think. Termite to do that. I came here to eat wood. Not an innuendo. <laughs> so yeah. It, basically the benefit the termite gives us is that we can go up this slope. This really steep one. The, I'm bad. I'm very bad. Uh, the transformation will be different in each level. That's one of the big things. Like, every mum- every level is a different mumbo transformation. Hey, where did you get that- get those shorts? I want them. Alright, so, found every note. You don't get a jiggy for that, unfortunately. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. Give me that cool backpack, or else. So, even if we are a termite, like, even if we're not dealing with racism, termite still just kind of wants to bully us. Oh, one little detail I like is that... Oh, camera almost screwed me over. Uh, one detail I like... Oh, I see the... Imp I see one of the empty honeycombs. Yeah, so you get that jingle when you've gotten every jiggy in a level. I might have screwed myself up. Yeah, I'll have to leave the level and come back in order to get that. I forgot what I was saying. Chat chat seems a little slow. Is everybody, like, still there? Like, like nothing broke, did it? Like, my, my, my small... And fragile ego can handle, like, just nobody posting, but I just don't want the chat to be broke. Okay. <laughs> so, first thing, we're not completely done yet. We're gonna want to, uh... Gonna want to go over here, grab this. And I screwed up getting one, so I'm gonna have to leave and come back to get those totem poles to respawn. Because, like, I think what you're supposed to do, I mean, I could be wrong, I could be overcomplicating everything, and I'm actually horrible, but, uh, I think you're supposed to shoot down one or two, and then jump on top of them to get that. The, uh, the empty honeycombs are not actually required by the game to progress, so they can get a little devious with the placement of those. In fact, I think that's like the one thing I was missing in my original file. So hopefully we can manage to get them this time. 
Yeah, so you want to shoot down all except one and then and then jump up to it. Okay, and then there's another secret that I know about. You may notice we pressed the grunty switch and it spawned you know, a jiggy on top of the entrance to the level. Well, we can't climb that slope even with the Talon Trot. So, what they don't tell you is, at least not right away, is that there is a small area of the hub world you can take the transformations out of. And sometimes you will be required to do that. Though I guess here they're kind of like hinting at it. You know, like, oh, this thing can climb steeper slopes than even uh, the Talon Trot. So, you know, you want to take it up here to get the Jiggy. And then if you, like, go out of the field of effect, M Mumbo will say something. Hang on just a second. He'll be like, Mumbo magic get weak. Animal turn back. Or magic go. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Magic all gone. Must go back to Baron Bird now. That's okay. That's what we wanted to do. All right, so we got to jump into the painting. No, I'm not. I'm just. I'm fooling. I am fooling. Now that we have this move, we can go up here. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. Not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. A combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, thank you. A uh, fun fact though, in in the sequel, uh, you actually get to meet one of Bottle's relatives whose name actually is Jam Jars. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Hello there, young ones. I'm Bruntilda, Bruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you the three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. Yeah, so... Spoilers. She's not kidding, by the way. You do need to kind of pay attention to the... Well, you maybe don't need to, but it helps. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese-flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with baked beans. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. <laughs> so. So yeah, that's going to be a thing we're doing. We're going to learn Gruntilda's disgusting secrets. They're actually, <laughs> they're actually kind of funny. But uh, some of them are randomly generated. So like mostly to prevent you from just memorizing the answers from your last playthrough so even though I've already played this uh, it's not gonna help me out long of tooth and strong of arm Grunty's got the lasting charm so this is kind of like our fast travel system we can find uh, another pot that'll let us go between different points so you know, you want to explore all around. You want to check out the lair. So, there's another one over here. 
Now, I do know there is a way to, at least in the Nintendo 64 version, to remove pieces that you've already put down. Move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Oh, I see. I think. What do you mean, air? Like I was saying, though, in the Nintendo 64 version, there's a way to uh, put down all of them at once. But it's not letting me do that. Maybe I don't have it yet, I don't know. So, we opened the path to Treasure Trove Cove. Which, prepare yourselves, has pretty much the best music in the whole series, if you ask me. Weird, I could have swore this room was sooner than that. The, the other one, I mean. And you'll notice there's a lot of, like, what's... There's a lot of variable mixing in this game. There's gonna be different versions of the tracks, depending on where you are in the level. So... Here's another one. Another, uh, cauldron. I don't think we are able to do anything with this. But yeah, there's a lot to explore in the actual hub world itself. It's very Mario 64-esque. Yes, I did it again! I did it again! So, we can go this way. I don't think we have a reason to yet, though. Ahoy, Spongebob! I've kidnapped your younger sister, and now I'm going to use her to become handsome. Ugh, 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 ugh. Oh, and I'll have to show you that, uh, in the... Him, the uh, final part of the stream. Not, not Mr. Krabs, but uh, I mean probably, probably not Mr. Krabs. But yeah, there's basically a bad ending that you get when either when you either game over or what am I saying? Game over. Or, oh yeah, exit the game. I mean, granted, it was save and quit in the Nintendo 64 one. But now it's just exit game, because I'm pretty sure it auto-saves constantly. So let's go to Treasure Trove Cove. Wait, wait, hang on. Is there something behind? No. Ahoy, Spongebob! This be Treasure Trove Cove. Thar be two moves for ye to find. Alright, I appreciate you getting into character bottles. Snacker smells tasty dinner. Stay just there. Okay, so yeah, this guy is like, uh, the fish. The, the big old fish from Mario 64 on steroids. Mmm, lovely. Basically, the water here is death, but I have to go in there to get the Jinja. Up. Uh, Spoilers, but we're going to use these feathers for a move. 
I don't know if you could have guessed. Well, I mean, I guess they could have been something else. These nippers, Beach. You find nothing without nippers' help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Ugh, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, shellhead. Yeah, I think the shark would have made me pee my pants if I was like an actual little kid playing this game. Feeble eggs, no match for nipper shell armor. Oh, there's another achievement. So now we have to enter his shell. Where he is astonishingly nowhere to be found. Couldn't tell you how that works. About to die. I am about to die. <laughs> I might could die. Uh, pfft. You know, if I could not die to, like, the crab enemy, that would be lovely. Yeah, so no idea where Nipper went, but at least he left us a Jiggy in here. Which, as you know, is customary payment in platformers. The main item we are trying to achieve. Like, if you ain't got a star, Mario ain't helping you do nothing. Okay. So the water here is not death. I... I lied. <laughs> I am a fibber. Alright, so... You know how... You know how every character in the game, so far, has had, like, this sort of voice clip? Like, it has... They have these set of voice clips. Oh, this is the salty hippo, by the way, all aboard. Uh, they have a set of voice clips that play when their dialogue shows up. Well, get ready for this, guys. It is something else. Okay, so we gotta find his treasure. Hello, the keep. You're—I already know who you are. Don't worry. So, gotta learn a move. This is your big chance, chicken legs. Time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, ball guys. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just, just, <laughs> the constant pot shots between these two. Yeah, so basically, this is the wing cap, and uh, the feathers, the red feathers are wing cap fuel. So yeah, we get the wing cap equivalent pretty early. But we can only use it at specific... Restream isn't giving you Twitch chat there. Mm. I mean, I turned the bot back on. Should be working. But I don't know at this point. I, have, I did not mean to go back up. I especially love, one thing I especially love about this game is how the music turns into like a xylophone kind of mix when you go underwater. Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Even the treasure talks like a pirate. Gotta get the, gotta get the mumbo. There we go, got the mumbo. 
You know, actually, I don't think Mumbo is in this level, so... If I said that, uh, Mumbo is in every level, well, I think I may have deceived you, I'm sorry. Okay, here, have this. I oh, that to be half on me gold! So he lost his treasure, but it was, you know, it was just, it was just right in the ship the entire time. Granted, the ship is half underwater, but I, I don't know, if a bear and bird are managing, then a wallower should be able to manage. Yeah, we gotta do this, gotta do this, gotta remember to do this. Me treasure, thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. I'm off to spin, spin, spin. I like that he's actually doing something with the gold. Most of the time when you see pirates in fiction, they're just kind of like hoarding it. Just, just because they're pirates, really. That's what they do. They hoard the gold. But in uh, this guy, Captain Blubberface, he's uh, he's going out to buy some stuff. And buy some stuff, I think he does, actually. I forgot what it was, but he does, I think, buy things with his money. There, there's gonna be some, like, running gags in this game, you will notice. I, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that, but just keep in mind, there will be running gags. By pressing the right or left bumper. Oh, that's where the ginger was. Ahem, excuse you, you mean X- you mean Xbox 64. Oh, oh, you can just climb this. I was like... You got- uh, I was just assuming like, oh, you gotta- <laughs> you gotta like, fly under it. No, you can just climb the pole. Well, that's a lot simpler. I'm glad I did that. So there's a treasure chest with teeth, you know. Didn't really need that to exist. Oh, I dare. I dare. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. Also, just characters in this game characters in this game are just to totally and completely aware that they are in a video game. Mumbo refers to himself as the best shaman in the entire game. Gruntilda's just talking about how she's gonna up the difficulty of the levels. Just, that's just how this game's gonna go. That's just how Rareware did things. So we gotta reach the peak. The peak of Beach Mountain. And my nose is now running, as is stream tradition. I don't think a clam could get all the way up here. I don't think this game is realistic. How, how dare you. Okay. Ikumbokum. Ikum 
Oh, man. So there's like a jiggy up here, but I gotta come back later once I have the move. I mean, the move is in this level, so it's not like, I mean, you know, come back later in the game. I mean, like, come back later in the level. Alright, so I've killed Banjo. He's dead. Jump ball. Whatever, whatever he's saying there. Can I break this? I don't think I can break this. I can't, I can't break this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Simply not allowed. Nope, I'm gone. I'm already gone. Okay, so this is the way Nipper was at. Okay, so we can't go up there because we don't have the the move. I mean, we could. We could fly over there. But, uh... Eh. That's all I gotta say about the whole ordeal, honestly. Eh. Eh. I'd, I'd prefer if we didn't. That's all I got to say about it. The only water connected to the ocean is death. Like, I, I was actually lying. I was totally lying. I mean, all water can be death if you want it hard enough. But, you know, no shark. No shark in that. Okay, there we go. There's the move. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump. Spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry. The turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc and then press and hold A. Hmm. Your energy... Oh, yeah. He's... Yeah, you... Okay, so, all new moves learned. We are all good to go. We are set. Set it, and forget it. Oh, so it's already, it's just already out. So I guess I don't gotta come back to this. Okay, so basically, that over there is uh, Shark Food Island. Uh, you yeah, know, so basically, normally, it's all the way down there. Like, it's just a little tiny island. But then, if you enter, like, a special code or you add the stop and swap, it rises up. So, I'm guessing that it just detects that I have TUI installed on the hard drive. So, I'm guessing I can just go do that now. Me leaky. No good for water. In bare block hole with pebble? Yes. Pebbles from Kazooie's buttock. Leaky patched up. Now water. Empty water for bear. See this? That location you just saw. That's where you would enter the codes that I just talked about. There are other codes that you can do. But, uh... I don't remember what they are. But, all that being said, there are some cheat codes that you're actually supposed to learn. And they're more like upgrades than actual cheat codes. Like the game them the game itself tells them to you. Hey Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Yeah, so this game likes to rhyme and it likes to have characters talk like cavemen. Unfortunately, I already know what the riddle is. I mean, I don't suppose it takes some kind of master's degree to figure it out. 
Is this is this a J? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't take like a scientist to figure out what the password is. It is, of course, swordfish. Where is that other O that I need? Oh, there it is. Oh, that was a tough boss fight. Oh, I'm gonna drop my phone. Drop my phone. Drop. Hit my microphone with my foot. I mean, it, it helps that it does kind of say on the wall here. I mean, you might just assume, oh, it's just it's the name in the game, you know. But it's it's also the password. So I guess next we want to go over to Shark Food Island. Possibly get uh, eaten like seven different times, but we still want to do it. Let's go get the extra life here. So yeah, shark food on- I've actually never been in this place. Yeah, so... I've never been in here. So you kind of do this weird platforming thing. Kind of repetitive, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, rare, we get the idea. <laughs> You better hope I don't fall down. <laughs> so, there's the egg. The infamous egg. Ooh, an egg. That's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my nuts and bolts adventure. Oh, can't, can't wait. I like to think that was sarcastic. All right, so it's a. Uh, apparently, it's actually not for uh, it's camera. So I guess it's not for Banjo Tooie. So it's actually for nuts and bolts, I suppose. It's a little less exciting, but also I, I guess I get it. Don't want to change up the original games too much, I suppose. Okay, so there's there's one over there. An empty... Empty honeycomb. You can just hear like the joy fade from my voice when you when I realize it it was for nuts and bolts. Sorry, sorry it's giving you trouble. But I mean, I, I do have the bot turned on. I don't know if it came on, but I turned it on. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Nut, from what I've seen, nuts and bolts isn't terrible, but it's just, it is so n not banjo-y. I mean, even even the game's composer thinks that <laughs> thinks that it shouldn't have been a banjo game. 
but it it was and I suppose there's no going back from that now follow the clues if you're looking for gold er, where's the X where's the X I'm looking for it's over there I'll, I'll come back for you in a little bit So I feel like already this level has taken us longer than Mumbo's Mountain. <laughs> so yeah, the levels do get bigger as time goes on, as the game goes on. As the days go on. Let me get that. Let me get that token. No. Token. 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 <laughs> token. George R. R. Tolkien. Get get over here. Get 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 get. Oh, I that's right, I can turn sharply. I better turn sharper than this. No. <laughs> Hitbox. Hitbox. Give me the, give me, give me, give me token. Where, where'd it go? I lost it. Token. Give me token. You probably do. There we go. And then it turns out you just, all you actually have to do is just go on a jump pad and I'm an idiot. No! <laughs> Yeah, thanks to YouTube poop music videos, the only thing I could- yeah, you just jump on the jump pad. The only thing I can hear in this song is, get, get out of my car now. Get out of my car now. It's over. Get out of my car now. You'll never find it. You'll never find the X. Ha ha ha. Oh, there's a Jin Jinjo down there. Oh, please open me gently. Absolutely. Will absolutely open gently. I have murdered that treasure chest in cold blood. Banjo feels nothing. The problem, the problem with me playing these kind of games that are so open like this is, like, which direction do I go in first? <laughs> it's like, there's no wrong answer. Which means that every answer is wrong. It's, it's like, it's, it's almost like I'm turning it into a trick question. Which way do I go? Every answer is incorrect. Should have gone the other way. I don't like you. Do not like. How, how do I hit? Okay, just kill by ramming my face into him. Get Mumbo token. Even if Mumbo is not in this level, his uh, tokens very much are. C 
currency can still be evaluated. Oh, I think I've realized why the chat is so quiet. It's because the old British man is not here. I must have waited too long, and he has... He has become fed up with me and gone to bed. Understandable. I would be fed up with me too. I need to work on streaming at a more reasonable hour. Granted, this might be a reasonable hour for some people. Oh, okay. Oh no, actually that's good. Move right there. Right there. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me up there. Yeah, Captain Crunch has not showed up tonight. But I mean, I understand it's it's late over there in old Br Br British land. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 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 that's all, folks. Okay, so is there anything cool in in there? I. <laughs> I I never get used to like the first person. Oh yeah, I'll say there's something good down there. I never get used to the first person view because you move it around with the right stick, and I'm so used to it being the left stick, especially since I'm playing Mario Sunshine at exactly the same time. Well, not exactly the same time. Otherwise, you'd be seeing two video feeds. But you you get the idea. Okay, there's a there's a mumbo token in there. Can't great cannot. Oh, there's two. Cannot graze the teeth, or you will perish very violently. Okay, maybe not that violently. More violently than I feel comfortable with. I'll tell you that much. I mean, I don't currently have a way to use a GameCube controller with the Xbox. At least that I know of. I am never going to get used to this camera. I, I just cannot get used to the inverted axis. I just can't. I cannot do it. So be prepared for me to screw up the camera throughout the entire game, basically. Oh, I didn't think there was actually just a Jiggy over here. Rare really likes to make these walls, like, kind of dark green, don't they? Rare really likes their dark greens. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm pretty much dead. I'm shark food. I'm not dead. That was merely a distraction. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I guess Yoshin, because I don't think Miles would actually know. No, no offense meant, of course. But I think you can kill the shark. It's only temporary, but I think you can kill it if you shoot enough eggs at it. When I looked down to see that message, I legitimately read it as Shrek got stuck in a box, and I was becoming a little afraid. Okay, now let's 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 get the treasure up here that we were so rightly promised. Okay. 
So, what, what am I missing? I think I'm missing some ginger. Yeah, I'm missing one ginger. One ginger. Jinjo. Oh, and I know exactly where it is, too. Let's head, let's head down. Jump, jump, ow! Okay, so, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's like the worst place you could be. I'm, I'm looking for cool things. Oh, there it is, there it is. I knew it was around here. Look, if I have to die to get this, so be it. If I was playing the Nintendo 64 version, I might have cared. The shark has a name, but I have completely forgotten what it is. Snacker? It might have just been Snacker. Okay, so yeah, the Jinjo I'm missing is absolutely over here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's it's okay, but I still didn't mean, mean to do it. Okay. Found all note. There's the Jinjo. Oh, I unlocked a gamer picture. That's good, because I am, in fact, a gamer. Okay, so, yeah. So, I think... Okay, so let me just check the totals here. Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, so we, we even get to see like how much time we've spent in the level. That is that is nice. Yep, we we had everything. Every single thing, even the stop and swap egg. So we can just leave, we can get the heck out of here. I might have time for one more level, I'm not sure. Either way, there is a Jiggy up here now. Oh no, it's sort of over the other way. There's a Jiggy up there now. Yeah, since I have entered the level, they are now crab. Oh, I, I actually, actually, I need that. I do need that. Give, give me up. Give me up. Let me in. Okay, so does something happen back here? No, no, I'm just crazy. I'm a crazy person. So let's just have Kazooie carry Banjo a bit because she's faster. You know what, we will go over here actually. I honestly forgot what's next. Uh, Clanker's Cavern? Was it? Was that the next one? Alright, so you'll notice there's a painting or a picture, but we can't actually do anything with that right now because there's no place to stand on. But remember this place well. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. 
Okay, I'll give Cauldron Butt your regards. Yeah, I am like 90% sure that that was random. Because I, I, I feel like I don't remember her being called Cauldron Butt when I first played this game. Can't you get here any faster? Come and fight me, I'm the master. Oh yeah, that's right. There is there is a tool that like narrows down the possible answers. Oh, that's right. I got I can't do anything here yet. Yeah, so basically as the ocean just said, it's cuz there's a quiz at the end of the game. That's why you need to know that. Yeah, so the questions are random. But you can use a tool to narrow down what the answers will be. I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna keep it legit, at least unless I run into like an impassable blockade. Well, yeah, I meant to say you have to like, you know, punch in the questions you already know. Like it says, oh, you can, uh, like, oh, you got cauldron butt, and then you, you answer that, and it'll, like, say, okay, so here's the ones it could still be. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster, the dirty hag. The only thing she's ever won was the biggest butt competition at witch school. <laughs> She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. <laughs> something about, I feel like something about the way the text shakes elevates it to comedy gold. Yeah, Sir mix -a -Lot was singing the song, and then he realized, oh, I don't know, maybe I don't like big butts as much as I thought I did. <laughs> he, he sees Gruntilda, he's like, actually, maybe, maybe big butts are overrated, I changed my mind. Oh no, I think it is this level over here. Okay, so we can go in the slime tube. Okay. So there's like a, a boot. But we cannot wear the boot. The boot rejects us. Oh, here she is again. My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. <laughs> Why do I talk all the time? It's really hard to make these rhyme. Although she's dim, she attended St. Dungball School. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. <laughs> I've heard weirder. My party trick is, uh, spitting all over the microphone when I try to, like, shout Gruntilda's disgusting traits. That's my party trick. It's, it's not actually that impressive. Oh, including the bucket. Oh, well, yeah, that would... Yeah, that, that would be more interesting. I'll, I'll give her that one. Okay, so I was actually completely mistaken. It's not this way. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna make her eat the beans, yeah? Well, we're over here at Rareware. I'll turn her, 
I'm I'm going through like seven different, you know, British ac British accents every second. It's like fluctuating between a different one each time. Oh, so you probably want to like go somewhere where you can use the jump move. Oh, I I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. Yes, so you can go here. Okay, so it is Clanker's Cavern. If you want to place all your pieces into- Thank you! Press the right- Oh. Okay. Oh, right. Right. Oh, the R button, basically. For some reason, I had a brain fart and I was like, Oh, yeah. The right stick. Press down the right stick. No. That's not it. Okay. Yeah, I'll do Flanker's Cam. I can't actually, uh... How do I get over there? Maybe I missed something. I don't remember everything about how this game is played. I will admit that. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, it's over here. It's over here, the button's over here, guys. Don't worry, I'm not that stupid. I mean, one IQ is still bigger than zero IQ. Okay. Now, just the one new move to find this time. But it's hidden well. You found the moon. But I wish you hadn't. So now we're in the sewer. And given, you know, this game's characteristics so far, then I would say yes, that is very absolutely poo water. Absolutely no way that's not poo water. And I don't mean the bear either. Yeah, so you'll notice there are golden feathers. Aw oh, man, they just you just spoiled what it does. You just spoiled it. Dumb, you spoiled it. Now nah, get out of here. Oh hey Ginger. Hiding behind the honeycomb. The bee, the... What what are those called? I forgot. The bee hive, just an artificial beehive. What are they? A beekeeper house. The answer is going to be really obvious and I'm going to look like an idiot, but okay. I have accepted my fate. So yeah, we got to swim in the poo water. So let's go down the pipe. An apiary. Okay, actually, in my defense, that word was not as obvious as I thought it would have been. Oh, hi, Mark. I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water. Want fresh air. Don't worry, guys. It's not poo water. It's just the garbage disposal. Okay, yeah, B-Box is a lot more like what I was expecting. I think when I played this game, I didn't know you could kill those guys. So, I would just avoid them. I mean, granted, you still can avoid them. So, we gotta go underwater. Despite his large and menacing appearance, Clanker, Clanker's a sweetheart. Don't be afraid of him. Unlike that tiny shark, from Treasure Trove Cove. Uh, Clanker, Clanker means us no ill will. So, 
I guess the lesson to take away from this is that if you are big or tall, you are trustworthy. Whereas small people are, they will cheat you. Okay, so coming up on another change this game made. Yeah, so the Xbox version added like, you know, these psycho strings here. And you know, when I was playing Banjo the first time, I, I really did sit there and I thought to myself, you know, my pants are not quite peed enough. I I think I think I would be a lot more comfortable if my pants were soaked entirely in urine. This this small amount of urine is just not it's not gonna do. So there is like a yeah, there is a fish down here that gives us air bubbles, which we are going to need. I forget. The... Okay, so Banjo does just die. I forgot if, you know, he lost health or if he just died. Yeah, I know bottles. Don't worry about it. So if this was the original game, I would have had to recollect every single note that I had already gotten. But since we're playing the Xbox version, that is no longer a thing, so we can just go back to where we were. I feel like, you know, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Like, on one hand, it, it is less just needlessly frustrating, but on the other hand, it also means that the stakes are very low. Yeah, I was already, I was already here. Yeah, the stakes are very low, so I do feel like, you know, I might be being less careful in this version than I would have been in the Nintendo 64 one. Because it's like, uh, who cares? You don't, you don't lose any progress. I mean, you lose some progress, you gotta, like, walk all the way back, but you don't lose any of the items you collected, so, you know, who cares? It's not that big a deal. Can I center the camera? No. So, I do know what I have to do here, but I'm trying to collect all the doodads. I'm trying to collect the doodads before I, like, go up. Before I do what I need to do. Well, Miles, you see, that means that you cannot be trusted. And, uh... You will swindle me any day now. It means that you are going to eat me whenever I go into the water. So yeah, that's what you gotta do. Give me the give me the, give me the juice. Give me the juice. Okay. I cannot see. Make. I'll be honest, I did not remember him having dialogue. I mean, unless that's new to the Xbox version, but I doubt it. You swindled me. Yeah, so, so that's the rule of my chat. Is that not only is Fesh Pence quoting... Uh, encouraged it is actually demanded and anyone who fails to comply will be banned that includes me I will ban myself if I fail to meet the quota but I do like I do like that the dialogue just is like okay no this isn't just some random fish like I thought no this is a conscious this is a conscious effort to help me even though I am somewhat skeptical about the nature of these bubbles oh there's another one yeah get all that gamer score what does gamer score do? I don't know. Probably nothing. But I'm still gonna get it. 
like as fresh air, you find reward on Clanker's back. Just making sure I got everything here. I think so. But if we discover that I'm missing a note, then you know the first place I'll need to check. Okay, so enough peeing our pants. We can uh, we can stop the peeing now. Pardon me. I don't know why. I've just had like like even more even more like gas than I usually do on a stream, and I realize that's not something that uh, most people probably want to hear, but. If you're not already disgusted by my uh, playstyle, then I don't think anything will do it. <laughs> Time to take a piss. What the hell are you doing? I'm taking a piss. Okay, so, yeah, that's the main thing. The main set piece of this level is him, the man himself, Clanker. This seems to be the recurring trend of this game, is just, if there's something you don't understand, just, just throw an egg at it, I don't know. Just, I, I think that uh, advice could serve us very well in real life, too. Actually, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Never mind. <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh, well, well, I don't understand. I don't understand gay people, so I threw an egg at them like Dustin told me to. And then I'm gonna have an angry mob outside my house. I mean, obviously, in addition to the one that's usually there. So there's a lot going on in this one area. And Clanker will help us platform. And he will also help us get extra life. Can I offer you a nice egg in these trying times? Yeah, this is this is what I mean. Oh, gee, banjo. <laughs> this is what I mean about my uh, impressions being really, really awful. Oh, that was supposed to be Danny DeVito. Could you tell? No, you couldn't. That's a trick question. So there's like stuff you can do in the water, but I'm also uh, very lazy and I, I don't want to do it. Because uh, swimming is not fun. It, it has never been fun in any video game ever. That's 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 a, not even true, but I, I said it anyway. God, my stutter really is terrible tonight. not good don't uh don't like eat jiggies but i mean i guess that is true to how sharks work come on get up here see it really is true though just fire an egg fire an egg at it okay so yeah you want to ride his bolt i guess is bull bolt. <laughs> However, not not his nut. That's that's like about two main games later. Unless we count Grunty's Revenge as a main game. I don't 
don't think most people do. You know, that's a good question. I hadn't really thought about it. Also, we we are now in inside the shark. You know, as you do. Like, I don't know, man. If you're if you're playing Nintendo games, it, it's pretty much you know freaking Vore City. You know I'm right. Okay, well. If you count Grunty's Revenge as main series, then yeah, it's like three games later. I will try to eventually stream the other ones, but let's also not get ahead of ourselves. When I am like one stream into the first game. Grunty's Revenge is honestly, it's pretty alright. You know, it's about as good as Banjo can be on the Game Boy Advance, I suppose. Okay, so there's like some kind of poop challenge. So let's just go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do the hoop challenge. Yeah, they also added uh, the terrifying psycho strings to uh, this area. Although I guess it makes a little bit more sense. Though honestly, I don't know about you. But if I was like inside of a shark, a giant shark's stomach or rib cage, whatever the heck this is, I would probably uh, be starting the scare strings before this. Like not just when I get in the water. Although I guess this is, I don't know, is this, is this acid or just water? It's not hurting me, so I'm guessing it's just water. Also, yeah, uh, I guess 2019 and Dustin streams is kind of the it's the year of the ring maze. That's what we're putting down here. At least in this game, there's not very many ring mazes. So we're not going to be dealing with them every five minutes like in Superman or Spongebob. For some reason looking at this room is making me feel sick. Gee whiz, could not imagine why. Could not imagine. You cannot fly out of the, the blowhole I guess this is. Okay, so you can go up here. Grab the gold feather. I mean, honestly, this area of the game is pretty gross. It's like a freaking mechanical shark, but there's still organic bits in it. Okay, uses Vico's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Ooh, does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger and push the right stick right. Keep the right or left trigger held and use the left stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers. But like, you can tell that this game was made, I mean, not just because of the graphics, but also because of the control scheme. You can tell that this was made for the Nintendo 64. Alright. You... In this instance, Godhood can very much be avoided. But not if you want to get all the jiggies. Yeah, so you can just become invincible as long as you have those feathers. Handy, handy. Okay, so there's two like holes in this area.
What's my what's my health like? No, my health is full. Okay, Jinjo, down here. Kind of, kind of a. Uh, I don't want to say out of the way, but kind of a conspic. Not no, it's not conspicuous either. Suspiciously placed, Jinjo. No. These are all words meaning the exact opposite of what I'm trying to convey. Oh well. It, it, it's too late. My time has come. Sent shivers down my spine. My body is aching all the time. Now let's get, let's get a Jinjo out of a shark. Okay, now where, where else can we go that's not in the water? Where else can I stall? Oh yes, up here, perfect. Oh, we get to do more jumping in and out of uh, little holes in the wall. With different items per hole. Well, not, not totally different. Is there? Oh, yeah, probably is. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Whatever I was gonna say, it's not important, and will definitely not incriminate me as an idiot. Okay, so there's a mumbo token in here. Yeah. So, yeah, I was very wrong about mumbo being in every level. If that, if I did say that, um, because he's not in this one either. That was a falsehood. I maybe should have gone back up for, for air. Oh, okay. Well, this is not a dead end. As I initially thought it would have been. Okay, cannot see. Good ol' N64 camera. I mean, it's better than it was on the Nintendo 64, but not by a whole lot. Get the feather. Get the feather. Get the feather. I grabbed none out of none feather. Feather was not achieved on this day. My right leg has completely fallen asleep, as is tradition, so I have to relocate myself. Let's go in the green hole. The radioactive zone. Mutant Savage Jigsaw is ours to fight us if you must. Okay, mutants, just give me a minute so I can uh, collect these. So I can collect these delicious musics. You know, I have a new move for exactly this kind of situation. This is, this is not a good place. This beaten snippet mutant sorry. Yours is prize. Yeah, just speech impediments are the name of the game. Actually, the name of the game is Banjo-Kazooie, but, you know. Okay, that's alright, Banjo. Go everywhere but where I actually want you to be. This area is kind of hard to look at. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, granted, it does, in fact, convey the feeling of radioactivity, but it also conveys the feeling of my eyeballs are going to gouge themselves out. Okay, so we got a few more 
jiggies to get in yonder zone. Let's see if we can't do that. Oh, you don't have to mash. You don't have to mash. Is it faster though to mash? Doesn't seem particularly like it. So I should probably stop mashing. Might be a good idea. I have no idea where this is taking me. It took me to the jigsaw. Alright, cool. Now I have to drown. Now I will die. Get me out of here. Get me out of the hole. I don't want to drown. Okay. I managed to avoid drowning. I am so glad I thought of saying that now and not three hours later where it makes no difference. So there are notes in this pipe. We will want to get these notes. Now for me to miss one like an idiot. Except I didn't. I did not do that. It was a false prophecy. <laughs> I like... I like that Miles has to clarify that everything else is fine. He knows me so well. Did I go... Did I go in this one? I forget which ones I did and ain't to go in. Is this the one that uh, led me out the... I think this is the one that like led me out the other side. So, there was like another one over here? Oh, it, it is the one I just came out of. Well, I am missing things. That much cannot be denied. I mean, okay, so I know that inside Clanker there is a Mumbo token. And I am missing. Okay, so I, I just went in there. That's the green one. I also like the pipes that are just flat textures on the wall. I mean, it's Nintendo 64, cut him a break. I mean, it's not, but it once was. We were once in 64. Okay, I'm gonna check that thing that I was gonna check before. Okay, so there are two uh, empty honeycombs in this level, and I have found neither. <laughs> found neither of those. Okay, so there, there's red feathers, so there should be somewhere to fly around here. Probably should grab all these. Okay, I have not gone up that pipe. I almost fell and ruined everything I've ever worked for. But I didn't. Okay, so that was not the solution to my problems. I need to get up there. I forgot how I meant to do that. I, my best idea right now is to board the shark. Or can you just high jump up that way? Oh yeah, there is a pole. There is a pole. I did not see the pole. But the pole saw me. And there's a Jinjo. Where is the Jinjo? I don't know. I don't Jinj know. Oh, it's, it's there. That's where it is. Okay, the pipe cam. Oh, there's an extra life. Nice, nice. I don't mind having an extra life or two. An extra banjo. I mean, I do in real life because I don't play the banjo. 
So, I mean, what am I gonna do with it? Okay, so you, you do slide off of that. Which is excellent to know. Let's get up there again. I say in my nasiest, most southernest, nasally voice. Oh, okay. So you want to do the talon trot. You want to do the walk. The bird walk. You want to walk the dinosaur. Except it's a bird. Amazing, Dustin. I can't believe you came up with that. Truly wit to rival the greatest philosophers of our time. But nonetheless, my correctness cannot be overstated. Okay, so there's a, there's another one somewhere in this level. And I'm also still missing a Jiggy. Still missing a Jiggy. Alright, so, so far it's been taking me roughly a half hour to do every level. I mean, I don't really see any reason why anyone else needs to know that, I just like to know that. I mean, unless you go, like, down the blowhole or something. Or maybe, like, you gotta fire into the gills or something. I don't remember what you do. Okay, so... Yeah, there we go. Definitely do want that. So is there any benefit to, like, firing in this direction? There are, there are many ways to enter this shark. It's frankly a little disturbing. Okay, so he does not get mad if I try to uh, destroy his eyes. Oh, here's here it is. Because it didn't take it didn't take me where I thought it was going to take me at all. Okay, every nope, every jiggy, but I am missing a empty honey comb. Oh, okay, so there it drops you. There you go. I forgot there was another room. There was another room, gentlemen. Let me see if going back through that room gets me anything. If not, then yeah, I don't know where the last empty honeycomb is. I could probably just find that between strings, as I say with a lot of things. Okay, does going backwards get me anything? Okay, so I get oh, I get dumped out in the mouth area. I still have to, uh, still have to, like, get back out. Yeah, I'll, fi I'll find it. I'll find it. Maybe not on stream, but I will find it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Alright, so if that's everything, besides the empty honeycomb, I suppose we can leave then. Uh, yeah it is. It is indeed everything. I mean, maybe it's towards the start of the level and I'm just not remembering. I don't know. I don't remember everything about this game. But I, I feel like it might have been in one of those pipes. 
I'm going to double check the pipes before I leave. Pipes are going to be double checked. Or maybe single checked. I may not have gone through all of them. I keep mashing even though I told myself I don't need to mash. Okay, so this pipe contains only flight. I gotta go back up for air. Could be in there. this one and I think that's all the ones there there is that there be yeah um, I'll just have to look it up or something or maybe just look on my own time well let's let's get on out of shark town Shark Town's not a very fun place to be. Just get like a last little swim in the poo water. Which I know we can all relate to wanting to do, really. I'm just gonna double check up here to make sure I'm not some kind of dummy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, maybe. But probably not. To utilize those speedrun tactics. I feel like I remember it being somewhere around here. Now where, on the other hand, you got me. Can't even descend in the water. Everything is perfectly unswimmable. Just making sure. Just making sure. Doing a quick scan of the area. Hmm. Nope. Alright, so last task of the night. I might have said last by accident. Ignore that. We're gonna go uh, destroy Grunty's eyeballs. Also, we gotta press this. I didn't even see that when I was going in. It might not have even been there. I'm not even sure. That's how scarcely aware of the world around me I am. Oh, and I fell off. Great, 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 great. Love it, love it, print it. Okay, well, we'll hit, we're here, we'll hit, we'll hit, we'll hit, we'll hit. I, I need to, like, check to make sure I'm not having some kind of brain condition. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. I don't like stairs much in my lair. They always make me gasp for air. I lost the voice. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is... Leg Chomper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. I like, I like that that one's not that one's not even that disgusting. It's just like they're they're just really bad. They're just really bad at music. Okay, so I'll I'll go over here, 
and then I'll, I'll destroy Grunty's eyeballs, and then we'll, we'll end the stream. It's probably gone on a little longer than usual. I do realize this. So this will open up the next level. We won't we won't be playing it tonight, but well, we might as well open it for next time. You know, we were just over there. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Anything, anything interesting over here? I don't think so. I don't think so. So one last task for the night. Yeah, in retrospect, I don't think this uh, series of streams is going to be too long if we can keep up a, a similar pace to the one we had today. And I realize what kind of curse I've just brought down upon myself by saying those words, but... Oh well. I mean, if we if I was playing Banjo-Tooie, though, I'd be a bit more worried. A little bit more worried. Where, where was it? Oh yeah, there it is. Destroy Grunty's eyeballs. Very simple jiggy to get. Okay, so that'll be it for me tonight. Uh, next time, probably Mario Maker. Seems like a good time to do some more Mario Maker ne next time. The next, the next time. I'll see you later.